Rappy. We haven't done a pickups video in a while. So this is a few pickups that we've collected in the last couple of months. Um, and it's only going to be Zega games. So Zega games for the Game Gear and the Mega CD. Now, I don't have a Game Gear or a Mega CD. But these games are hard to find and when I come across them I, I pick them up. And when I do get a Game Gear Mega CD, I'll make sure all these work and maybe put up a video or two. But let's see what we've come across. And um, getting games boxed is very rare, but loose you might find the odd one or two. So first you got Shining Force. This is second Shining Force. Shining Force two, just loose. And what else have we got? Ooh, this is a quiz game. This is the the cool. Oh, how do you pronounce this? difficult but this one's called the quiz gear fight fight all um, quiz gear fight just a quiz game and what else we got loose from TV animation slam dunk it's a popular popular anime and manga here Let's see these ones actually came in a little case so quite handy uh, this is super golf Super Golf, one to four players on the game gear. Super Golf. Seems about their name, I know. Uh, this one is Dyson Raikou. Raikou. Yeah, Dyson Raikou. G. G for game gear. It's a strategy game. And what have we got in this case? Ah. Payo Payo. But not, not a traditional Pyro Pyro, this is Nazo Pyro 2. I don't know what the difference is, but hmm. Those compiled Pyro Pyro games. And what, the last one here is. Ah, this is 1993 from Zega. This is the first game in. There's three of these games on the Game Gear. The Meadow Monogatari. It's, it's the story of sorcery games. There's three on the Game Gear, but what's interesting about this one is this was also released on the Mega Drive. And the Mega Drive version was the last Japanese official release in March 96. But this is from 93, and this is the Game Gear version. So that's those games are just loose, you get them, find them in bins, about 100 yen, maybe a little more. Um, but games boxed, very rare, so but when we come across them, pick them up. Here we have Fatal Fury Special. Fighting game. Not really known for its fighting games, the Game Gear. Has a few. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so Fatal Fury Special. Here we have proper Pio Pio game. This is Pio Pio 2. You can see it's just normal Pio Pio. So we got here in the wake of vampire or as it's known I think it's master of darkness on the yeah it's master of darkness you can get this on the, the master system this is in the wake of vampire in Japan pretty good game next um, RPG Sylvan tail on the game gear Sylvan tail nice box art Another RPG. Come. Royal Stone. Not as good box art, but it's okay. Another RPG game. Royal Stone. And Shining Force, the first Shining Force. Great games, the Shining Force games. Great box art, too. Here. Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star Gaiden. RPG. It's from 1992. Yeah. Really want to pick this up. Fantasy Star. Some of the best RPGs around. Another RPG. This one is uh, Shadow Crusader. Or I think it's called Defender of Oasis in Europe. I think 
I think so. But in Japan, Shadow Crusader. Here we have Sonic and Tails 2. Sonic and Tails 2. And there, Knuckles on the back, Robotnik and. What's this guy's name again? Oh, this was the. Sonic was going downhill. But, uh, looks pretty good. So, Sonic and Tails 2. And last but not least on the Game Gear, Columns. It's probably the one game nearly everyone had for the Game Gear. And now we have it here. Good little puzzle game. Keep you entertained for a couple of hours. So that's Columns. Now, next up is the Mega CD games. Now, Mega CD games are not as cheap. You not as common, you won't come across them one or two, maybe but I managed to pick up a few in like a bundle for about four or five for a thousand yen which is about eight or nine euros, which is good and hopefully one day I'll actually come across a mega city, I've never even seen one so, maybe fingers crossed fingers crossed but anyway, let's see what games we got, so first Lethal Enforcers Konami like on game. Oh, the, sorry, Justifier like on game. Lethal Enforcers. Stop. Ah, WWF Rage in the Cage. It's basically WrestleMania with a cage. Yeah, the wrestling games weren't great around the 16 bit era. There's a lot of characters. Should be some, some bit of fun. And next up is Tinka Fubu, which I'm presuming there's no picture. Um, I'm presuming it's just a strategy game similar to the Koi games. There's many pictures in the manual. Yeah. So that's Tinka Fubu. Next up, Lunar Silver Star. And no pictures on the back here, but yeah, you know this is a RPG. Lunar Silver Star. Next up, something more common to the Mega City. Thunderstorm Effects by Wolf Team. It's got all its flashy 3D effects. All from a CD. Brilliant. That's Thunderstorm FX. And this game, this game costs a thousand yen on its own, but I wanted to pick this up. This Zega Games Can Volume 1 has, I think, about eight games on it. And it's missing the, the card in the back. But the games on it, Flicky is on it, but that's a common game. It's got a lot of games that were only released on the downloadable uh, Toshoken like modem on the Mega Drive here in Japan and it actually has some of the I think three of the Fantasy Star text adventure games on this collection that were only released on the downloadable Mega Drive yeah it has a few other games as well like Pyramid Magic and Paddle Fighter and things like that but no when I saw this I had to pick it up Pretty good. So what else we got? Oh, AX101. Space shooter game? Is it set in space? Or the future? Or is that Earth? Uh, no, it's space. Uh, AX101, just a shooting game. From Micronet. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, the Heroic Legend of Aslan. Which is a strategy RPG. More of a strategy game actually. The heroic Legend of Arslan. And going along with a similar theme is Mega Schwarzschild. A scenario simulation game. This one's set in space. Yeah. Next up, sports game. And it's Super League CD. And it's Egawa Suguru's Super League City. He was a pitcher in the 70s and 80s and I think in the 90s he was just on TV 
doing commentary but popular guys so there he is again so you've got all your teams it's a baseball game uh, it's pretty much like Super League on the Mega Drive so what else is here Sim Earth by Maxis I'm sure it'll be nigh on impossible to play if you don't understand a lot of Japanese that's Sim Earth Let's see what else we got. Burai. Another RPG. Or Burai. Burai. That's from Zega. Or is it from Zega? Oh, they reprogrammed it. Who was it before? Maybe it was always Zega again. Anyway, next up Quiz Scramble Special. Just a quiz game for one or two players. Yeah, I'm not sure how it uses the power of the Mega CD, but it'll be interesting to find out. And uh, last but not least, you okay, Rappy? FHB Funky Horror Band, which is actually kind of a strange RPG game. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think it was only released in Japan. Be interesting to see how this plays, how this looks. Funky Horror Man. Yeah, so that's our games pick up over the last couple of months. As I said, I don't have a Mega CD, don't have a Game Gear, can't play these games. When I come across them, I will pick them up. Um, but until then, uh, if you want to watch some Game Gear footage, I don't know of any. Game Gear YouTubers who mainly do um, Game Gear games. Mega CD. Yeah, if you want to watch some Mega CD games, then you can't go wrong heading over to Vampire Mike's uh, Zega CD Universe channel. I'll put a link here. Here. Okay, Rappy. Okay. Until next time, pick up some more items. Just I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Google Plus, just add me where you find me.